Hey guys, it is Angry Birds Legos here, and for today's video, I am going to give uh, incoming freshmen like 15, yeah, 15 different tips on how to survive, survive in high school. And if you guys don't know, I'm starting my senior year when school starts, so most of these things are coming from either based off of what I experienced or based off of what I've seen. And there will be a part two to this video on my second channel. The link will be in the description below if you want to check that out. Hopefully these tips help you out, and I really hope that it will give you enough, uh, a better feeling to enter high school. Because I know I was terrified to enter high school. And I didn't... I was terrified to enter high school, and I didn't know what to expect or anything. So I'm trying to let you guys know... Uh, based off of these tips, what you should do, and how you should act. So my first tip for you guys is don't be cocky. I hate freshmen that come into high school, and they're just cocky. They think they're all that because they just graduated from 8th grade, and they think that they're just like this high, exceptional figure now. And I'm not doubting how awesome you people are, because I know you people are awesome, but I cannot stand when you come into school and you think that you were all that, especially those that have siblings that go to their school already, that are upperclassmen, they always come, not all of them, but majority of them come in and they're just like, just sit down, you were, st you were still a freshman, you have things to get used to, and I'm not saying freshmen are lower and below everyone, however, just don't come in with that attitude, that's what makes a lot of people hate freshmen. Personally, I don't hate freshmen, though, I hate sophomores. <laughs> the next advice I have for you guys is be yourself. More often than not, people will feel, and I'm going to have this tip later on, but it's so important for you to be yourself. You don't want to pretend to be somebody else just so you have friends, because those aren't real friends. You want friends who love you for who you are, that you don't have to hide who you are. Just be yourself. Trust me, it's a lot better, it's a lot easier. I've seen freshmen come in and pretend to be somebody else, and then behind the scenes they're a totally different person. Be yourself. You will have better friends, you will just have less stress because you won't have to hide up and pretend to be someone half the time. This next step is from personal experience. I didn't do too bad freshman year, but I could have done better. Take it seriously. It is freshman year, yes, but freshman year is just as important as junior year. Everything is on your transcript. They pay attention to your freshman year. They pay attention to your sophomore year. Just because you are a freshman does not give you the excuse to slack off and to think that you have an excuse for everything because you don't. You have to step it up. The reason why you are making this huge transition, the reason why you have graduated from 8th grade and had a huge ceremony about it is because you are now stepping up one step closer to becoming an adult. So you have to act like an adult. You have to take it seriously. This is not a game. High school is not a game, unfortunately. Things aren't always going to go your way, but you have to take it seriously. You have to take time out of your day to actually put effort into things. You cannot just expect things to be given to you and expect it to happen. That's not how it works. My fourth advice for you guys is to try new things. You have to be open, try new things. If you try new things, you might learn some things about you that you never knew before. Don't be so close-minded and stuck in the fact that, oh, I only like this sport and I only like to do this. I'm not an athlete. I'm not an artist. I don't like performing arts because I'm nervous. Be open. Allow yourself to try new things. It's better to try and then say I don't like it than to never try and just never know. My fifth advice for you guys is to be open. As I just said, be open to new things, new experiences. Don't ex have expectations for people to act a certain way because you don't know how people are going to react. You just have to be open to everything. Accept how people are going to act. Accept differences. Just be open-minded to everything. It'll just help you out, and I think it's personally something that a lot of people don't do. They're too close-minded to have expectations for people, which causes us to start to dislike things and hate things because things aren't going the way that we wanted them and had hoped for. Just be open. Change is okay. Differences are okay. Just be open. My sixth advice, don't be afraid to fail. Failing is just a part of life, I guess you could say. We're all going to fail at some point. Don't 
feel obligated to only succeed. You're allowed to fail. You are human. We expect you to fail sometimes. Just make sure you don't let those failures bring you down like I have let them. Make sure every time you stand back up and you say, fuck it, I can still do it. Don't give up. Just keep doing things. Don't give up. If you constantly keep failing at something and you think that you're not good at it, you can keep trying until you're perfect at it. There's no limit on how hard you can work to achieve something. Failure, you can fail a thousand times, but if you keep getting back up, I'm sure you'll succeed at some point. Because you never gave up. You just kept trying. And each time you try, you give a little bit more effort. You try a little bit harder. So don't be afraid to fail. It, sometimes you're going to struggle in a course. Sometimes you're just going to have a hard time with some people, or right? Things like that. Just don't be afraid to fail. Don't try to avoid situations because you think you're going to fail. You, I'm sure you're going to succeed, especially if you think with that mindset. If you need help in a certain subject, get help. Do not feel afraid like your teachers are just going to like punch you in the face if you need help. They're there to help you. I've heard that for public school, sometimes it's hard because some teachers just don't care. It, it, just find a peer then in that case. You need help, go get it. If you need help, go get it. It's as simple as that. If you feel like you are struggling, you don't want to fail the class. You want to be as successful as possible because, as I said, everything's on your transcript. So don't be afraid to get help. If you need a tutor, go get one. It doesn't matter. No one's going to make fun of you because you need help. Everyone struggles at something. No one is perfect. My eighth advice for you guys is to be talkative. When I came into my freshman year, so prior to the first day of school for me, well, actually the first day of freshman orientation, which was basically a man mandatory school day for um, freshmen and incoming students, I was just hit with an event that really brought me down. And I immediately, walking into that room, I felt alone, and I didn't talk to anyone. If someone were to talk to me, I would, I would reply, of course, but I was never going to talk to anyone. So I'm telling you to be talkative. Do not be shy. Yes, it's hard for us to break out of that comfort shell. Sometimes we get so caught in it, and we feel so comfortable that we don't want to leave it. But being talkative will get you more friends, you'll learn more about other people, and you will have some of the best experiences in your life when you're talkative versus when you're shy and silent. I've never heard anyone say they had the best time of their life somewhere, and they were silent the entire time. Number nine, achieve. Achieve everything you can, achieve anything you want to achieve. Anything you want to achieve, you can achieve. You just have to work at it. And that's where a lot of people give up because they don't want to work at it. Work at it. It's worth it because you want to achieve. Success is something that we all want. We all want to be successful. In order to be successful, we have to achieve. In order to achieve, we have to work at it. Nothing's going to be handed to us. It's not that easy. Life isn't that fair. Life isn't that easy. But when you achieve, you, you'll feel better about yourself and you start to boost your self-esteem. So work at it. Working at things is worth it. You'll get scholarships maybe if you have really good grades. Imagine all the scholarships you could get. If you work your ass off in certain sports, imagine all the scholarships you can get. I'm not only saying scholarships are the only thing that can happen, because I haven't had the best grades. I haven't been the best athlete, because I just haven't felt physically prepared. But I have won art awards, because I worked my ass off on them. So, anybody can achieve. We just have to work our asses off for them. Number ten. When you do achieve, even if you don't, be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself because you tried. Be proud of yourself because you did achieve. Be proud of yourself because you were somewhat successful. If you fail, be proud of yourself for trying. Just be proud of yourself because every time you're proud of yourself, you boost your self-esteem a bit. You have to be proud of yourself for the little things and then you'll start to... Because sometimes we just, we're only proud of ourselves when we achieve something big, something amazing, something spectacular. But those small things... If you get an A on a test, be proud of yourself. A B, be proud of yourself. If you typically get Fs on a test and you now get a C, be proud of yourself. Just be proud of yourself with those little steps. Don't have these super high expectations for you to get straight A's because it's most likely not going to happen. Maybe as a freshman, but you can't expect to have it throughout the entire four years in high school. Just be proud of yourself for the little things that you do. Be proud of yourself for the big things that you do. Be proud of yourself no matter what. My 11th tip for you guys is do not carry everything. There are so many freshmen, which we call freshman backpacks. They have everything in the entire world in their backpacks, breaking their backs, struggling. You have a locker for a reason. 
You don't have to bring your textbooks every day, and if you do, you have a locker. You can stop at your locker and get it. Even if you have to ask your teacher in the, uh, before class starts if you can get your textbooks, go get it. I know for me, there are certain textbooks that we get, like the Spanish book here, that I'm never going to use. So I'm not going to bring it with me every day. Just don't bring a million and one things to school that you're not going to need. You don't need to bring your whole makeup kit and a fucking flat iron. And I've seen girls do it. You don't need all that stuff. Just bring what's necessary, and if you have room for a couple of extras, be wise. Don't bring the entire bedroom with you. You're going to school to learn, not to have a fucking fashion show. My 12th advice for you guys is to become comfortable with schedules, the school. Even if you have to come to school extremely early just to walk around and know where every single classroom is, that's completely fine. Nobody's going to judge you for that. And if they do, they're just dicks. They act like Some people act like they came into their freshman year knowing every single thing and they were just the brightest motherfucker, perfect and everything. That's a false statement and they're just caught in arrogance most likely. You'll be fine. Just, if you have to, as I said, come to school early to know where the place, certain places are, do it. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. You have to do what you have to do to become familiar and become comfortable with the place. You don't want to show up on the first day of school and not know where anything is and feel this panic. You don't want that. So, if you have to come to school, school early, um, become comfortable in your environment, just become comfortable. School shouldn't be hell, it should be just as comfortable as home sometimes, just a little bit more stress because of the homework. You should feel comfortable around your friends, around your teachers. It shouldn't be so relaxing that you feel like you shouldn't have to do anything. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying become comfortable. My 13th thing for you guys is to become familiar with your schedules, everything. Just make sure you have everything, start to memorize the little things. Don't try to memorize everything at once. Um, at my school, we have our schedules writ written down, and we can carry it around. So most people, they'll have it with them that first day, and then the second day, maybe the third day, we're getting used to it. So start to become familiar with things. Get used to it, and that way you won't be so lost that it's like halfway through the school year, and you're just like, wait, where is that room at? You want to know where that those things are by like the first month of school. You want to have everything down for the most part. My 14th advice for you guys, and this one's really important to me, maybe not so much to you guys, but I think it's really helpful. Volunteer, especially after your freshman year, maybe not so much freshman year, but if you have opportunities, please volunteer, help out other people. But when you become a sophomore, when you become a junior, senior, help out other people, especially freshmen, you want to help them out. Do not want to help out people, if, especially I always wanted to help out freshmen for my senior year, even though my school is not going to let me, which really pisses me off. Um, I've always wanted to help out freshmen because I wanted to make sure they had a better experience than I did my freshman year. You have been through things that they haven't. You've experienced and seen things that they haven't. Maybe you've even seen some changes in things that they have. They're just new to it. Everything's just new to them, and you're just used to these old ways. So help out those. Help out others. If you get the schedule and stuff and you know where things are, help out others. Don't be selfish. Help them out so they know and they become successful as well. Final advice for this video, and again, part two will be on my second channel, is do not stress yourself out with a million things at once. You cannot handle doing a million things at once. Don't sign up for a million things if you can't handle a million things. It's better to start off small and add little things as you go than to just have a bunch and then try to deal with all of that at once. So sign up for five after school activities and three different sports. Do everything a little at a time. Don't stress yourself out. You're better, you work better when you're not stressed out, obviously. So do not stress yourself out. So that is it for this part. Check out part two on my other channel. Hopefully you guys actually gain something for this. Hopefully this helps you out. So thank you guys for watching. Good luck on your freshman year. I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.